In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and testing out the Kaibal E20 robot vacuum. So let's get started. Inside the box, you'll find the Kaival Cybervac, four side brushes and a cleaning brush, an extra HEPA filter and sponge, a two meter magnetic boundary strip with adhesive stickers, a power adapter to be used with the charging base, a remote control and batteries. The Kaival E20 measures at 2.8 inches in height, making it nice and slim, 12.8 inches in diameter and weighs about 2.4 kilos. Underneath, you'll need to attach the two side brushes until they click into place. You have the omnidirectional wheel, two silver charging contacts, two hall sensors for when you're using the magnetic strip, and three anti-drop sensors. And then here there's a little speaker. The wheels on the robot allow it to move from hard floor and climb onto carpet. The on and off switch and it comes with a 3200 milliamp hour battery. Here we have the main brush, open up the brush guard and you can take out the brush very easily. Here you can see that they're soft bristles. There's a little tiny blade inside the cleaning brush that will help you remove any of the hair or thread that may be wrapped around the cleaning brush. Pop it back in and then close the guard. Here you'll also see a sticker showing what all the beeps mean, which was a really smart idea so you don't have to keep taking out the user manual. To open the bin, you're going to press on this big orange button here and slide out the bin. The bin has a nice large 600 mil capacity. And then you'll just use the brush to remove any of the dust. Keeping the orange button pressed in, you're going to slide the bin back in. On the front of the robot you'll find a bumper and on the side you'll see the infrared sensors and the air outlet. Charging base has a nice little housing area for the wire. On the remote you'll find buttons for edge cleaning, spot mode, an auto button, a scheduling button, minimum and maximum buttons to change the power section. So I set the robot vacuum to work first on carpeted area. When comparing this to my previous iRobot Roomba, my first impression of the Kaival was that it was definitely faster than the Roomba and also quieter. It did well climbing the mat. And by the way, if you guys do want to watch my review of the iRobot Roomba i4 Plus, I'll leave a link in the description box. It did, however, get its side brush tangled in the cable on the ground, so it needed rescuing. But it did really well cleaning up the mess that I made on the carpet. I had scattered down some crumbs and also some pieces of paper. And if you guys are new to my channel, do consider subscribing. I bring out videos every week where I review household products and tech gadgets. And again, because of the rotating side brushes, it did keep getting itself tangled in the cable on the ground. It did really well on the stairs with the anti-drop sensors kicking in. Once it was done, you can see if I flip it over that the bin is hardly full compared to the rumbo which was completely full because it had a smaller bin. And the brush has done a pretty good job picking up a lot of hair and thread in there. Next I'm going to try the spot mode and the Kaival will do a spiral circle of around 1.2 meters which is 3.9 feet whereas the rumbo only did 3 feet. 
So this is giving a wider circle and then it'll also spiral back inwards. And once it's done with its spot mode, it will continue cleaning in auto mode. So it doesn't just sit there. The Kaival did well finding its way in and out underneath the couches. And I did mention this before in my Roomba video that I just love robot vacuums for being able to get into those hard to reach areas, especially underneath couches and beds. And again, you can see that the Kaival had no issues climbing the rug here from hardwood. Initially, I was worried that the side brushes may prevent it from climbing onto the rugs that have like a soft edge but it seems to do fine. And I also have one of those uneven patterned rugs here and it seems to clean it fine. It doesn't have any problem climbing onto it. And it's doing really well changing its suction power based on the floor and the carpet. Now the instructions do say to tuck in any tasseled areas on the rugs. Um, I haven't done that um, and I did test it out on that and it seems that uh, it handled it really well so you can see that it's just going around it and luckily it's nothing's getting stuck in there but it's done a really good job even climbing over the tasseled rug and i have a lot of mats in my house and the kaival seems to handle them well Okay, next I'm going to take it into the kitchen and I'm really going to challenge the Kaival here by throwing down some flour, some rice and also some onion and garlic skins, which is more or less usual for my kitchen. So let's see how it does. It avoided the whole garlic area and it went up to the flour and did a UE and came back again. Avoiding that area also, I thought it was having issues climbing onto the mat uh, but uh, after just letting it run a little, it uh, eventually did climb onto the mat, it didn't have an, an issue. And to begin with, I was getting annoyed that it was avoiding the whole areas where I, where I had made the mess. After watching it a little, I realized that what it does is the way that it works is it will do the center area first and then it will go towards the edges and then it will start to clean the edge. So that's why if you see where I've thrown the flour and even the rice, it's more or less closer to the edge. So it was working its way in the middle first and then it goes towards the edge and then it starts to clean the edge. Unfortunately, it did skip over the whole flower area. It didn't even touch it to begin with. Um, it felt like it was done with the kitchen and then it went on its way out of the kitchen into the next room. So I had to redirect it using the remote and bring it back and um, it would still avoid it. So I ended up having to put it on spot mode to see how well it would clean it. Now, I don't know if the flower was a bit much of a challenge for it but you can see that it didn't do a really good job cleaning the flower area um, especially with the lines in the hardwood floor this as you can see is the best that it did so I don't know if that was a bit too much of a challenge for it it did a good job cleaning up all the garlic skins moving over to the rice area and there are still bits of rice left on the ground here I don't know if it's fair of me to say that it didn't do a good job considering where I threw it down right between the mats um, and it, it probably is a little bit difficult for a robot to clean that. What do you guys think? Drop me a comment below and let me know how you felt about my testing. So overall the Kaival does a pretty good job cleaning. It has really good suction power. It has 150 minutes of run time just more impressed with how fast it worked when comparing it to the Roomba. Mm -hmm. 
and once it gets into a low battery mode then it'll find its way back to its base and charge itself. It also works with Google Assistant and Alexa. I don't actually have those so I haven't been able to test those out. The robot itself does get very dusty. You do need to wipe it down and it's very easy to see all the fingerprints and dust on it because of its shiny glossy body that it has. In the video you may see a few large pieces um, still on the carpet but funnily enough it actually misses some of the bigger pieces but it gets more of the smaller finer dust and dirt. The user manuals that come with it are really good. They give clear instructions and they're very easy to follow. And I was able to get this for 200 Canadian dollars, which is not a bad price for a beginner vacuum. It comes with an app. The app is really easy to use. You can use it to create daily schedules and you can also use it to guide the robot vacuum just like you do with the remote. I find it easier to use the app than I do to use the remote and you can also change the suction power you can see how much battery percentage is left on there and how much cleaning time has been done on it so it's pretty useful unfortunately there is no mapping involved with this model anyway i hope you guys found my video useful don't forget to leave a like or leave me a comment below and i hope to catch you in my next video